beautiful people so welcome to a new vlog i'm just about to get ready we're heading out for an event so there's a la roche posay event i've just put on my wig i like this wig because it's glueless i just do my edges like it has the band so i just put it on and we're good to go and this is a wig i bought do you remember if you are an og and you remember like when i started like youtubing i got a wig from hair flare kenya a long time ago like 2018 and this is it guys can you imagine like it's such good quality it's actually like served me all these years granted i don't wear wigs all the time but look at this it's really just stayed in place because i remember i got it in layers i think this one was like i don't know don't remember but i just got it styled at kalash and i've been wearing it so i'm loving the wig life so easy The baby girl is heading out. I am actually heading for... Why do I look white? I'm heading to Mad Kids Area Code. So I'm going to get my tattoo redone because I've noticed it's faded a little bit. And I want like, I want it to like pop. So I want to go. And then I also want to get a tattoo on my arm. I got a scar over here. So I want, I want to see if he can just do something really quickly. Something just like simple, very small and cute. So that's the idea. guys so new day we are shooting at giraffe center imagine i've never been here it's actually i'm not a normal kenyan to be honest this is my first time like mm -hmm. <laughs> i know people go in kindergarten i don't know why i missed that so let's go But it's no, no, you're not being over. Get ready. <laughs> what is it called? More energy. More, More passion. energy. More, More passion. passion. More passion. <laughs> Ah, so I don't know if I mentioned we are at Camellia Gardens in Limuru. So you guys come through support. It's like a family business. It's really beautiful. It's a nice Kasandi plan because you drive around. You come to Limuru. You drive. And you can eat nyama. The views are spectacular. I don't know if I've shown you, but the views are to die for. To die for. So yeah, guys, come through. I'll, I'll tag them over here on Instagram. I'm currently in Rwanda. So I'm currently in Kigali. So I'm just literally walking to the gym. And you know what I love about this place is how safe everything is. As in, yo, I don't ever walk out of the house and feel like I'm unsafe. It's crazy. Like I'm carrying my camera and my phone in hand, no bag, nothing. And I'm just walking, vlogging, and I feel absolutely safe. No stress, no pressure, and wahala. The roads are paved. Um, the motors, the cars are very, very... Like, people drive properly. There's not that many things happening, so it's just, like, peaceful, you know? I love that. Currently walking to the gym. I am passing by this plant shop kind of place. Clearly... I've gotten over my love for plants because if it was me right now, I'd be actually buying something like all entire just to check. Oh, my sunscreen is. <laughs> so I need to get the water resistant one because this one is useless completely. Anyway, just finished my warm up. I want to do shoulders today. <sighs> so it's a new gym, so I'm still figuring things out to be honest. <laughs> so let me see what to do. off at the gym i'm now here at my shoot so i'm at adv atelier Duvon. <laughs> Duvon. i don't know how to pronounce it to be honest there's something on my lens yeah so i'm right waiting for the videographer so we can shoot because the light is looking beautiful honestly it's looking really good i hope it doesn't rain or get like too dark so there's actually like an event after this it's called strictly soul i've remembered so strictly soul is like these guys have been going around africa and they've been doing like 
only soul R&B music and that is so my vibe so I was like as soon as I heard they were in Rwanda I was like no way perfect timing so that's why I'm here that's why I'm here I'm, I'm shooting here for Tanqueray and then we're gonna have like the soul night as part of the content also so that's gonna be fun yeah so I'm wondering if I should eat or have a drink I don't really feel like having a drink to be honest these days I only drink when necessary because the feeling of tiredness and hangover I just my body can't handle it anymore so it is what it is <laughs> anyway let me wait for the videographer and then we can start you need to come to Rwanda Rwanda has no tankery like I've looked for it I've actually called liquor stores all around and many of them don't have but I finally found it so I've asked them to deliver the Sun is leaving as we do all this so well let's hope the videos still come out nicely because that Sun right now as in the pictures right now be popping came brunching at Le Petit Cholet it's really cute it's very nice it looks like it was someone's house that they just converted into like a, one of these like cute restaurants but yeah the food was good I would say like a six out of ten so yeah quite enjoyed that today is an exciting day because we're going to we're driving like an hour away from Kigali to go to this place called Umva so I am super excited for that Rwanda I'm currently in this place called Umva Muhazi so basically we just decided like listen Kigali is nice it's fun and the fun thing about Rwanda is that it's a small country so places are very drivable too you know what I mean like you can just get in your car and drive somewhere the roads are great so we're staying in the lake bungalow so the lake view bungalow so we have a view of the lake all the rooms here actually have a view of the lake so they have different sizes of rooms this one sleeps four people Ideally too because it's a sofa bed and a bedroom, but I think it's perfect such a nice way to get out of town and just come for relaxation So yeah, I absolutely love it. I love that Rwanda is hilly and lakey So there's so many different places that have like good views lakes and all that kind of jazz <laughs> Are you ready to be part of the video? <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> These guys are here, so introduce yourself. What's up, what's up? This is your boy Frank X. Hey, this is your boy Frank X, okay. <laughs> All the way from Kigali Run. Hey, nice. And that's. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, so we're about to shoot some content. Very exciting stuff to be partnering with the Kigali creators. So yeah, let's see what we can come up with. It's so beautiful. Crazy how this is my first time and I'm um, the run in here. Can you imagine? I know. It's just crazy. one hour away and like you've never come here. I know. I'm, I'm actually, <laughs> I should be thankful. Too. Are you a traveler? You should be. <laughs> I, I'm becoming one. Yeah. I'm becoming one. <laughs> yeah, so Arabic school, make sure you enjoy the party life also. There's a lot of places to go. Do you party? <laughs> Every day. Work, that's yeah. <laughs> so you'll definitely enjoy Nairobi. It's quite vibrant. <laughs> I like a basic gin and tonic, uh, but I'll try and spice it up for you. Here's it.
Dun 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 dun. She can't do really. It's, it's not really coming in. <laughs> I think you're better in. than me. Really? Which is very I've very bad. I just seen it on the TV. Like the girls but, are like. Oh, you know, I, I can't do that on camera. People will laugh at me. <laughs> I'll be that, like, that's nah, so that's, that guy is not from Rwanda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, My he's bad. not Rwanda. He's letting you down. He's letting you down. <laughs> wow, look how stunning it is. Guys, we've just finished shooting. A lot of content. These guys are so creative. Oh my gosh. That was fun. I made him do the Dancia Maju. Can you imagine it? <laughs> and he was pretty good. He did well. Hey, so Dancia Maju. <laughs> Nairobi. Get ready for me. Nairobi, he's coming to Nairobi. So you guys, hey, you better follow him. Follow him, Frank. How do you say your name better? Frank Frank. Frank X. Frank X. Frank X. Frank, Frank, Frank X. X. Yes. Oh god, why is it so hard? It's Frank. Excel. Frank X. Excel. My <gasps> names are in French. Wow, I would never like be able to. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just put his name on yes. the screen. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe to his YouTube channel. We had a lot of fun. Wait for content. It's going to be coming out probably after this vlog for sure. Yeah, so time to head out back for dinner and chill and see what else to do. Oh, what a successful night of shooting content. That was actually very, very productive. So yeah, Frank and his his guy Medi. That's such a good team. So yeah, that was really nice. Oh guys, I'm so tired. Like tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's meant to be like hot air ballooning, but guess what guys? The hot air balloon, I guess it's like low season, so they're not functioning, they're not working. So we're not gonna do that unfortunately, but what we'll do is just like go kayaking. I'll do some kayaking and then breakfast or breakfast and kayaking, we'll see. guys good morning so slept amazingly honestly best nights of sleep ever so we're literally having breakfast now thinking about kayaking so we just finished breakfast which was really good had an amazing breakfast so now I've changed because kayaking going kayaking there's um, one other lady her name is Angie who was here as well so we met her at dinner yesterday and we were like, yeah, let's let's do it together. My only concern is carrying this camera. I don't want to capsize because I've had a bad history. <laughs> I've had a really bad history with kayaking. Like in Watamu, we actually crashed into the rocks because of the waves and everything. That was very scary. <laughs> Thank God we didn't have our phones. So anyway, this time because it's a lake, the water is like very chill. Um, it should be fine, I think. It should honestly be fine. Woo! Ready for action. Those are such cute life jackets. <laughs> Straps. All right. You feel comfortable? Oh, yeah. You can put your phone here if it's possible. Here. Yeah. Some pocket. Is it waterproof? It's recording. <laughs> so you hold the paddle like this. Yeah. Hold this. Free this. Yeah. If you wanna go straight, mm. you will paddle right, left, right, left. Oh, if I you wanna I turn remember. right, you will paddle mm. opposite side. And also that is poor mm. training academy. It is not good to cross it. If it's possible, you can reach to the fish farm. Okay. Or you can use the going that far? Really? You plan to go that far? Okay. That's what, That's I was what I'm wondering. Hmm. Oh, wow. oh no, Enjoy. my wrist that I injured yesterday. So, um, <laughs> at least you're confident to do that. Yay! Woo! Woo! This is so lovely. So, let's see how far we can go. Sometimes when the wind changes direction, yeah. so the wave changes direction. Oh. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, because now it's like the, the wind has changed direction for sure. Is this supposed to be here or? 
the puddles. Are they supposed to be here? Through here? Yeah, like here. Yeah. Don't go like here. Don't dip. Yeah. Just on top. Huh? Yeah. Guys, so, wow, really sweaty today. It's a hot day. <laughs> A very hot day so i was just checking out the other properties that they the other rooms that they have so they have the birdhouse which is where i'm at right now which is like this little cute very small house that is like has like steps all the way up to there you can see this is where the bed is i'm sitting on the steps and then downstairs is like just the bathroom and like a small sitting area where you can just have a view of the lake but it's such an interesting like architecturally it's a very good design designed really well that marks the end of our trip we've packed up Everything is in the boot. Time to head back to Kigali. Honestly, I really enjoyed my stay here. It was really nice. So definitely feels like somewhere you can keep coming back because it's like so close. It's really pretty, very, very peaceful. The food is nice. I really enjoyed the food generally because it's like um, farm to table, which means they grow their produce. And I like the fact that the food is actually well done. And the dinner is like a five course meal, which is crazy. <laughs> so yeah. It was nice it was really nice i'd recommend for sure back to kigali and i'll also be heading back to nairobi soon but not too soon maybe i think i have like a few more days here so yeah let's see what we can get up to you guys i don't know if it's just me but the heat is going to finish us honestly it's going to finish us my god and i hear nairobi is also like equally hot which to me is like okay clearly there's something going on in this world hmm? When we were in Berlin and I was walking around in February without a uh, coat, that's when I knew, yeah, global warming is real. Like, can you imagine walking around in winter and there's no, you don't actually have a jacket? I was okay. And me, I usually freeze. So, for sure, this global warming is evident. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's head back. <laughs> 